Wasting raid medals, CWL medals, and gems in Clash of Clans will not only ruin your progress, it's going to ruin your life. And the sad thing is, most of us are doing it. Don't worry though, because this video can help any player get the most out of their raid medals, CWL medals, and their gems to make progression super easy. In fact, it's so easy, even a beginner can follow along. But first, let's talk about how you could be wasting your resources by not following these steps. Let's say that you're growing a plant and you're watering it properly, but you never give it fertilizer. Even though the plant still grows, it's going to take a lot longer and you might get discouraged. Your Clash of Clans account works the same way. Even though any way you spend these resources can speed up your game, if you don't use them optimally, it might take too long and you might just lose interest. And losing interest in Clash of Clans might just make the time that you invested wasted as well, and wasted time is the number one way that people ruin their lives. But now, what are the best ways to use these three resources to ensure that you're not wasting your time? Let's start with our weekend favorite, the raid medals. Now raid medals might seem simple because everyone spends them on the research potion, but I actually don't think that's the right choice for everyone. If we take a look at the trader shop for raid medals, some popular options include the research potion the clock tower potion and the hero potion. Now all of these are the best option but none of them are at the same time. How is that possible? Well, if we take the clock tower potion as an example, its usefulness really comes down to whether or not you have the sixth builder. The research potion does nothing for you if you have a maxed lab, and the hero potion isn't all that useful for maxed Clash of Clans accounts in general. So the value that you get from certain rewards really does depend on where you are as a player. But for most players, there's still one reward that's head and shoulders above anything else. The hero potion. With the new rework to the potion, you get max levels on your heroes for your own town hall level. But some of you might be thinking, okay, is sacrificing builder base time or research time or even a power potion and the potential spike you get from that worth a single hero potion? To answer this question properly, we need to look at the time skipped with each magic item. The chart in the background summarizes all of that for you and you can see the hero Hero and power potions are head and shoulders above the rest. The only difference is the amount of items that each thing upgrades at once. I mean, sure, the power potion upgrades everything in your lab, but unless you're using a Noah's Ark army, you probably will only be using 3 or 4 key troops in an army composition. On the other hand, the hero potion affects all hero levels and can help you effectively skip hundreds of days of upgrades for one hour. Not to mention and this also applies to pets, so this is a no-brainer. But let's say you bought all three hero potions and you are full on those, what else should you buy with your extra raid medals? This is best determined by your situation. If you need the sixth builder still, you can get the clock tower potion. If you're still in the heat of upgrading, the research potion is good, and if you're near maxed and just pushing to the highest possible spot in Legends League, get your own reinforcements. But the hero potion is the best value and should be the number one priority if you want to make the most out of your raid medals and you don't want to waste them. Next up we have the CWL medals, and I like to think of these like monthly bills because the rewards you get from them are really not going to change, but they're completely essential. Now we all know that Hammers are the best value, especially if you have upgrades that are 12 days or longer, but there are two of these that you should never buy. Now all of the hammers are the same price, so they should get you the same amount of days, right? Well, one of them actually doesn't, and it can only get you a max of 8 days of time skip. On top of that, it's more expensive, so if you really want to waste your resources, you'd buy yourself a hammer of heroes. Now there's actually another hammer that I wouldn't recommend among the three that are left. If we take a look at the bases that we have, there are tons of buildings, and if we take a look at the laboratory, there are tons of troops. The one thing we don't have a lot of is spells, and since we usually get an even amount of books every month, we can conclude that the spells will probably be maxed first. Thus, the hammer of spells is actually a pretty poor purchase, because you'll eventually have max spells and then have nothing to spend your books of spells on. And if that isn't wasting resources, 
I don't know what is. Now between the two hammers that are remaining, I would recommend buying two hammers of fighting for every hammer of building since the lab takes a really long time to max out. However, there is a really important tip that most players need to know if they want to maximize their CWL medals and it has nothing to do with what you're buying. In fact, it's more about what you're not going to buy. As I mentioned before, upgrades that are longer than 12 days get the best hammer value and should be prioritized. But unless you're Town Hall 14 or higher, you don't get this value and you could be wasting your hammers. Thus, the easy solution is to save your CWL medals as you can save a bunch and then spend them all later when you get the best value. Doing this as well as buying the right hammers will maximize your use of CWL medals and help you progress a lot faster. Alright, before moving on to the next point, I want to tell you a story. When I was a kid, I used to go to the ice cream store and I always had trouble picking the right flavor of ice cream because there were so many. But when I grew older, I knew exactly what I wanted and what flavor I would like so it got a lot easier for me to pick the right ice cream. That's what spending gems are like in Clash of Clans. You have to know what you want out of them and that'll make your life a lot easier. For the players that want faster progressions on their accounts, there are two options. The first one helps you complete some of the most grueling upgrades in the game and costs 500 gems, the Book of Heroes. But ever since the Hero Potion rework, I think the value of this book has diminished because you won't see the effects of the book in war. Therefore, I think it's better if you use your gems on something that a potion cannot fix, and that would be hero equipment, which currently has no accelerators. Thus, if you want to progress faster, I would recommend buying the glowy ore, as it is the limiting resource, or the starry ore if you're having tough wars. But what if progressing faster in Clash of Clans isn't your flavor of ice cream? What if it's just having fun and playing a lot? Well, one of the main problems that players have is that they can't just get on and play Clash of Clans continuously like they can with other games like Fortnite or Minecraft. But if you buy the training potion, you can get yourself some valuable playtime for only 25 gems. This is also great for players who are short on their resources for upgrades. Beyond that, I would use other gems on the ores once again because I think having strong equipment is pretty fun. Now back to our ice cream analogy, what if you don't care what the flavor is but rather how good it looks? A lot of players want their Clash of Clans account to look really good too, so the cosmetics is the thing that they should be focusing on. Even though it takes a lot of gems, for free to play players this might be the only way to get cosmetics. So if this is what you enjoy the most, I think it's worth going after. Just make sure that you're getting the best cosmetic value out of those gems and for those of you that don't know what that is, Seth Gaming made a video about that. Now with the tips in this video, you should be able to get the most out of your resources, stop wasting your life, and get a girlfriend. Well, maybe not the last one. But to be honest, knowing the best ways to spend your resources does nothing for you if you don't have any of those resources in the first place. That's why you need to watch this video right here because it breaks down the foolproof method to get one of the most exclusive resources in the game, CWL Medals.